Once again, it is free preset Friday with a twist. This video will be a little different. I do have a new free tool for you to use specifically in the fusion page of DaVinci Resolve, but also it's so simple and so useful. Uh, I'm gonna show you how you can just make it yourself and we'll learn some really cool stuff along the way. But first, what are we making? Check this out. Okay, to demonstrate, I have this little green ball flying around the screen. This is just with a perturb modifier. And then I have this stop motion node. And check it out. I'm previewing this background node with the animation right now. But then if I also preview this stop motion node, we see, ah, oh, we have that same motion, but effectively the frame rate for that has been cut in half. And over here in the inspector, we have this strength slider. If I pull that up to three, ah, oh, the frame rate is now a third of what it was and we can crank this up as much as we want but we can pull it to something stream like 10 and whoa it's like barely recognizable as the same motion i think two is pretty great for the general effect i think most people will use this for but you have that flexibility so what this does is take perfectly smooth motion at the full frame rate of whatever frame rate you're working with and quickly turn it into a sort of stop motion or like more classical animation at like 12 frames a second, something which is also known as animating on the twos. And this is just one node in the fusion page. I was in a live stream the other day and friend of the channel, Scott from Nerdwriter hopped in and said, hey, is this a thing you could do? And I said, yes, I can do that. And then I did it and packaged it up and now Hey, here it is for all of you. Now, if you follow the link in the description, you will get to a download for a dot setting file. I'm gonna go over how to manually install that later. But first I wanna walk through how you can create this yourself because it should be uh, about as fast, if not faster. You see, this is a group node by default because it happens whenever you package up a macro. Uh, but if I open that, you'll see, yeah, it is just one node inside there. So let me rebuild this. This is built on a time stretcher node. So if I add a plain time stretcher node and connect that background to that, and this is a really interesting node I've touched on before, but what we are gonna do is actually add a custom expression to this source time control. I'm gonna right click. Uh, there's one keyframe on there by default. I think I'm gonna remove that and then right click and come to expression. And in here, we're gonna type something very interesting. This is a tip I pulled it from an amazing um, creator doing really, really cool stuff. And he posted this on Twitter. This is from 550 and boom, stop motion time effect, which is what we're doing. And he shares this expression here. So that is what we are going to type into our expression window floor time divided by two times two. So if I type in here, floor parentheses, time divided by two close parentheses times two, I will click that. And then now who preview? Yeah, that's our effect. This is really interesting because what it is doing is looking at the normal frame rate of your clip and saying, hey, cut this in half. So normally that would cut it in half and it would effectively play back at that lower frame rate, which would mean twice as fast, but then you're timesing that by two again. So it's saying, hey, play this back in half speed at a normal speed, which effectively just cuts the entire frame rate in half. Now, and all I did in this other version was add this slider. I did some extra expression work on that one, but if you just want to save this one generic look, you can use the macro system. And this is as bare bones and accessible as the macro system gets, um, but still so useful. Here, you can just right click on this node and come to macro, create macro. And because you don't have any custom controls, you don't have to check anything else here. You can just name this whatever you want, like, Yay, stop motion. And if you come to file, save as or save as group, the default location it will open up is your custom macros for use inside the fusion page. So you don't have to navigate anywhere else. You can just click save. And then anytime you're in fusion, you can pull up this search bar for tools by pressing shift space. And if you start typing in yay, you say, hey, Yay, stop motion, click add, and it brings in that exact same time stretcher you just created. Now, if you downloaded my version of this effect with this custom extra uh, control strength slider, uh, then you can come up to Fusion Macro Editor, which will give you that same prompt, except nothing specific is loaded. Then you can go to File Open, which will open that same default location. And then if you have this stop motion dot setting file, you can either copy or drag that right into that file, and boom, it will load it up. You can click Cancel. And then in Fusion, at any time, you can start typing in stop motion, click add, boom, you have my version with an extra strength slider. You can preview that, crank it up. Whoa, this is interesting. If you don't use a perfectly round number, you'll get some of this ghosting, interesting. But five should give you those nice sharp edges that update just however often you want them to. This can be a really useful effect, especially if you're going for an animation or stop motion or just like 
old timey sort of animated look. And hopefully now you can either create it for yourself and save it as a simple to use remacro or just grab mine. And also this base uh, accessible layer of creating macros is super useful anytime you're creating something new in Fusion and you modify a node or a group of nodes in a specific way, just package them up as a macro real quick. And they are, are just like a button click away anytime you're in Fusion. It's super helpful, especially if you save them as a group, because then you can always open them back up and change all those specific parameters. It's very cool. Thanks. I'll see you next time.